Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create not just one, but multiple streamer nodes and start earning data tokens right away. The streamer network is the first decentralized real-time data network at the data transport layer that allows people to connect data to the rest of the world. By running a node, you become a broker and you get paying data tokens. Right now each node generates about 46% year over year in returns. Let me show you how to set it up, no virtual private servers needed, no monthly costs, just your computer, let's get into it. Alright, head over to streamer.network and from there we, we're going to run a node here. And there are actually two ways of running a node or set up a broker node. Okay, two ways here, the configuration wizard, which is, first one is the Docker approach. You need to download Docker, which is a virtualization software that's going to run in your machine. And currently I have three nodes under, that I use uh, under this approach. Second way is using the MBM or NPM approach, and this is the one that we're gonna cover today. Okay, and to do this approach, we need to install uh, Node.js JavaScript. And if you don't have Node.js, you're gonna have to click here. Uh, Node.js uh, is like a backend JavaScript runtime environment, right? So you can run uh, any JavaScript uh, engine and execute JavaScript. So that's what the these nodes are based on so we're gonna we're gonna have to install it here go ahead and click here that's the latest version uh, 18.13 and what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your OS here uh, I'm gonna choose Windows go ahead and download I already done it but I'm gonna do it again for this video and once, and once you download you're gonna click open all right once you open the file you're gonna get this welcome to the node.js setup wizard I click next. Uh, in my case, I have it already installed, uh, so you're gonna just click next and install it. All right, and once it's completed, you're gonna get this complete the node and set up wizard. Click finish, and that's it. All right, so now that we have downloaded uh, node.js, we're gonna st start with step number one, which is install the latest version using npm. In order to do that, we're gonna run this command. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, type here in the Windows search, Windows PowerShell, there it is, and we're gonna run it as admins. So run as administrator, yes. All right, there we are. That's the PowerShell window in administrator mode. So go ahead and copy this command here. Right click and install it. All right, there I started the node setup. It's downloading all the programs. It's gonna, and I'm gonna install it in a second. All right, in my case, because I already uh, installed one broker node, um, it took like 23 seconds to run this program. In your case, you're gonna see a lot of content uh, flowing through this uh, window. Uh, you can see here, actually in the site says there can be plenty of output from the NPM. Installation fails with an error, you should address it before continuing. All right, uh, and you'll see a lot of content. Let it run, let it finish, uh, and you'll see if you found any vulnerabilities. Uh, I found zero, so I'm good to go. Okay, next step, step number two, configure your node with streamer broker in it. So you're gonna copy this streamer-broker-init, control C, copy, go back to the PowerShell, right click, and then you'll have the command in yellow, just click enter. Okay, and this is very important. First step is, do you wanna generate a new Ethereum private key or import an existing one, use arrow key. All right, so you're gonna say generate. See, it's in light blue there, just by default it's generate, so go ahead and generate the key. Would you like also to see the sensitive information on screen now? I'm gonna say no, but you can say yes. I'm gonna say no, so 
so it doesn't show here on the screen but you can you can say yes I'm gonna say no all right select the plugins to enable press space to select a to toggle all see only the web socket is is in blue so I'm gonna select a just hit a and all of them got selected all right and then I'm gonna click enter all right, now provide the port for the WebSocket plugin. Enter for default. If this is your first node, you're just gonna use the default, which is 7170. Uh, if it is, if it's your second one, you're gonna keep increasing, and I'll show you how to do that. But let's assume first this is your first node, so you're gonna click uh, Enter. Then for the MQTT plugin 1883, yeah, go ahead and do that number. And then for the uh, HTTP plugin is 7171. Go ahead and click enter. Do you want to participate in mining and staking? That would be yes, because we want to earn those rewards in data tokens. Click yes. Select a path to store the generated config. By default is um, where you have your uh, users, C users, uh, and then the streamer. So I'm gonna, I'm good with this, with the default configuration. Just hit enter. All right, and then it says welcome to streamer network. Your node generated name is so you, you'll have a, a specific node, right? It's a combination of words. That's the name of your node. All right, and the last step is to start the broker node. Uh, and we're gonna use this streamer.broker command. But before doing that, I wanna show you what's the result of the second step. If you go to your users, uh, and you go to that streamer, you see there's a config file uh, folder that will kick and then you have the default JSON file. In this file is where the private key is stored and we're gonna need that private key. All right, let's go back to instructions and let's start the broker node. So we in step number three, we're gonna copy this command. This is how you're gonna run the mode. So we're gonna start the mode pretty soon. Control C, copy, go back to the power PowerShell, right click, enter, streamer broker, hit run. And there you are. And now that you have your streamer node uh, running, you start seeing all these uh, nodes about you know connected to tracker, connected to peers. So you're still seeing all these notifications. That means that it's running. But we still need to do one more thing, which is we need to create an account on our wallet that links to the private key of the node. So we start accruing those um, data tokens. Uh, and remember, in order to accrue tokens, we need to have uh, staked data tokens already in our wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so the data token runs on the Polygon network. So if you don't have Polygon set up in your MetaMask, you're gonna follow the, fo you're gonna do the following steps. You're gonna go to your MetaMask. You're gonna choose, I already have Polygon, but you're gonna choose whatever network you have here as default. I'm gonna click Add Network. See Polygon, I already have it. Right. Add Network manually. All right, for the network name, you're gonna type Polygon. And it's good to just copy, like from uh, CoinMarketCap, uh, the actual name polygon type it so you don't make a mistake for the uh, that's polygon name for the RPC URL you're gonna copy this HTTPS colon slash slash polygon dash RPC dot com so you're gonna copy that chain ID double check is 137 copy that symbol yeah, I already have it, but you won't, you won't have it if you, that's the case. Matic is the token, so you're gonna say Matic, and the chain explorer or the block explorer is https colon slash land polygon scan dot com slash. So you're gonna put all that there, and you're gonna click save. And once you do that, you're gonna have the polygon network set up on your MetaMask. All right, now the polygon network is already in our MetaMask. We're gonna go back to the folder where our user is defined um, and under the user you'll see that streamer 
slash config and you're gonna find this default.json file it's a text file a json file um, and you're gonna copy the private key so you're gonna just copy the whole private key control c and have it there then go back to your wallet your metamask make sure it's polygon and what you want to do is we're going to go right next to the the network which is the icon this we're going to say import account now import account select type is going to be private key and we're going to type the private key that we just copied from the node we're going to say import all right and now we have a new account and you can name it you can click there account details and you can rename it there. In my case, it's a streamer four. Let's say streamer one, a streamer two, whatever it is. So I'm gonna do that. There it is. Okay, and now we need to go to the account and we need to add the data token to the account. Um, you're gonna get rewarded based on how many data tokens you stake onto this account up to 10,000 you can stake up to 10,000 10, if you stake more than 10,000 you're not gonna get rewarded for the excess but up to 10,000 you're gonna get rewarded and you're gonna get paid here in the same account so let's go ahead and add the data token and for that we're gonna go to the official page I'm go back to the streamer.network let's go back there see discover data token and then scroll down Here's the contract, view contract. Uh, here it is, add data token to your wallet. So I'm gonna click Polygon, add token. MetaMask is gonna open up. I said add token and that's it. We have now the data token added, the official one, do it from the official streamer.network, not from another site, just do it there because you don't want any scammers or anything taking your data. There it is. All right, and the last step is to buy data tokens and stake them on this account, and that's the way you're gonna get rewarding data tokens as well. But in order to get data tokens, you get you need to get uh, Matic uh, first, right? Um, and you can you can use here uh, streamer that network discover data token. You can you can see here Binance, Uniswap, uh, Matcha. So there are a couple of options that you can use. Um, let's see Uniswap. You're gonna have your Matic there. Okay, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna type data. And you know, if you transfer Matic to your account, you're gonna show up there, and then you're gonna transfer it to, to the data token, and that's how it's gonna get uh, deposited in your MetaMask, and, and that's it. You just leave your data tokens there, and as, as long as your node keeps running, you're gonna get rewarded once a month in this account. Okay, and now we're done setting up our first broker node. Uh, and you're gonna start collecting your, those uh, data tokens right away. You're gonna get paid once a month. Now, that's using the NPM approach. That's what we use to set up this node. Now, what if you wanna use uh, the same approach to set up multiple nodes? So, I'm gonna go over now how to do more than just one node. So, you're gonna go to this file here that I created. You can see I, I have my node one and the ports that I use for every service. So you're gonna keep that. Now, to do our second node, you're gonna copy that, and you're gonna name this, and you're gonna keep track of the ports that you use. I'm gonna increment every port by two. So I'm gonna call the first one 7172, 7172, this one 7173, 173, and this one I'm gonna call it 85, 85. So I added two on top of each one, all right? And now these are the addresses that I'm gonna use for the ports for the second node, and so on. If I do a third node, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna add two, uh, four, 74, 75, 87, 87. So you're gonna repeat the same process from the beginning from this video, but instead of when, when the broker and the setup node adds for the ports, you're gonna type, in the second node, you're gonna type 7172, 
Then the, sec the second question is going to ask for the 1885, and the third question is going to ask for the is going to ask for the 7173, and that's how you're going to set up. Now you're going to get a new config file and a new uh, primary key or, or or private key, and then you're going to add it again in a new account on your MetaMask, and you're going to repeat the process. Okay, and that's the way you set up multiple uh, broker nodes, and you can see I have uh, three nodes running currently. Um, and I have already set up my fourth. I gotta transfer my data tokens to my fourth. Um, I got, I'm gonna use some of the data uh, tokens collected from these nodes. I'm gonna transfer it to the fourth. I start accumulating that, and that's what you can do to keep uh, increasing your savings in data tokens. All right, last step is to go to this site, Brabec Scan that app slash favorites so it's b-r-u-b-e-c-k scan that app app slash favorites and here's how you're gonna you're gonna enter your uh, node address here from your metamask and then you're gonna track the rewards of your node and the status uh to be received this is how much i'm gonna get pay uh this is how much i get i have stake so far on that node more than uh, 10,000, so I'm not going to pay for the extra 741. I'm going to transfer that out um, and the history, right? So that's the way you're going to check uh, on the process of how much data tokens you, you've been making. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button if you did. Um, I'm going to try to address any questions you have on the comment section. And if you have any problems, or if you run into any problems, I will try to address those. Uh, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.